Good morning, everyone. This is the day that the Lord has made. We are rejoicing and exceedingly glad in it. First Corinthians 16 and 9 says, There's a wide open door for a great work here, although many oppose me. This is Pastor with the weekly greetings for uh, the week, October 16th. Um, time's moving so fast, uh, but it is in line with what's really happening in the greatest scheme of things, which is our Lord is soon to come. And as I said before, uh, we need to be sure that we are working on keeping our lamps trimmed and burning. Well, Pastor of Greetings for this week is going to be very, very short, not long. Uh, first and foremost, our annual Bible literacy campaign is just marching quickly to a close with readings 289 through 295. With readings 289 through 295. Let me just remind you that you can find them in the app, the link to keep track of them as well. Uh, we have suspended sending out the weekly email we're just using this reading through our app uh, because we're just revamping some things where our finances are concerned um, just to be a little bit more efficient in our stewardship and use and deployment of our of our uh, resources all right so 289 through 295 wednesday and friday morning teleconference prayer encounter continues at 6 45 as we say before it is not long but it is strong as we seek to fulfill the mandate that is given to us in acts the 12th chapter uh, the fifth verse, clause B, and the church prayed earnestly. And then Wednesday evening, the 18th, our midweek prayer and study encounter will resume with a message from the Lord by one of the faithful messengers that God has assigned to our church. And then that will wrap us up uh, for the week, and we will be at another Sunday, all right? Please keep your brothers and sisters in prayer. And as I've said before, we want to make a greater push towards it. Uh, if you haven't done so, please be sure that you're utilizing and check, checking out our app. We've got a lot of great things going on as it's in development, um, and I'm really excited about it, all right? Uh, keep your brothers and sisters in prayer. Keep our world in prayer. Just remember the, the nation of Israel uh, in prayer. According to Psalm, the 122nd Division, we're actually admonished to pray for Israel. And um, as believers, we should not be caught up in the politics because we should understand very, very clearly what the scriptural implications are. Are of what's going on from a historical standpoint of view and even from a prophetic eschatological standpoint of view. All right. God bless you and the Lord be with you and heaven smile upon you. Well, our thought for the week is this. Regret is the only prison that has an inside lock. Regret is the only prison that has an inside lock. Okay. God bless you and heaven smile upon you. Let the words of our mouths and meditations of our hearts be acceptable in your sight. O Lord, you are our strength and our redeemer. And now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above that we could ask or think, according to the power that works in us. And to him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus through all ages, world without end. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. And let his countenance upon you be gracious unto you and give you peace and be with you now and forevermore. In Jesus' name we pray and say amen. Have a great week. I love you and God loves you too.